Holy. Well, boys, Capcom's got me so excited that they have forced me out of video hiatus. Uh, sorry about that, by the way. Uh, life happens, I suppose. Uh, to make a brand new video because... Unless you've been living under a rock for the last two days or so, you've probably seen that the latest entry in the Monster Hunter series has been announced. Monster Hunter Wilds. Uh, spoilers, it looks fucking awesome. We're going to go off the cuff here today because I just want to word vomit my thoughts on what we've seen, the one and a half minutes of footage that we have so far. Uh, I'm sure plenty of people have already done their reactions about... 36 hours ago, uh, so I'm a little bit late to the party, but I didn't watch them. I didn't watch them, so all these thoughts are my own, but they're probably going to uh, coincide with other people's thoughts, because we all love this series. So if I'm a little bit rambly, I apologize for that, I think I'm already being a bit rambly. And so boys, the Monster Hunter content drought is over. We're going to jump into this trailer, I'm going to pause it way too much, because I've got lots of things to say, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Ah, oh, it looks so good, man. I'm so excited. There. That right there was when I knew it was a Monster Hunter uh, game because that is such a Monster Hunter herbivore noise. I can't even begin to describe my excitement when I saw this. For context, I was working at the time when the Game Awards was on and I got a message from my girlfriend that said, do not look on Twitter or Discord uh, at all. Don't touch it. Don't even go near it because you're going to want to see this announcement. Uh, yeah, and then we have this. Speaking about the noise that these guys are making... Have a go at these. These are the new herbivores, our Aptonoth, Apsorus equivalent, pangolin looking dudes. We've got the, I don't know, alpha ones, I guess, that have the massive spikes growing out their back, which we'll see doing some cool stuff in a little moment. Uh, and each of them have got little birds sitting on each on, on their backs, which is pretty cool. Uh, a bit more involvement of this sort of ecological thing going on. Love that. Big fan of that in Monster Hunter World. Uh, and they're, I guess these... Uh, just everywhere? Just the desert? I don't know. We're sort of in a desert area right now. Let's keep going. Pausing again, because we have these buffalo fellas that we don't get to see a whole lot of, but they do remind me of Kestodons. Uh, and, 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 Gastrodons? Is that what they're called? No, that's a Pokemon. The ones in, the ones in the Elder's Recess that I can't remember the name of right now. There's also this Wyvern flying in the back. I don't know what that is, but, uh, uh, excited to learn what that is. And we're also seeing these little... Bird wyverns, I guess they're like little compy little dinosaur things. So in the span of eight seconds, we've seen like five different species of creature already. And that is this small little snippet of map. So that bodes well, I think, uh, to what we're going to see in the future. Storms rolling in, music goes boom, and here we are. Bang. Now, we're going to get a better shot of this guy in a second, so I'm not going to pause for very long. Um, but our first introduction of the Hunters is a pretty strong one. Comes in riding on a brand new monster as well. And then there's these fucking things. I don't know what these are. There's like six or seven of them on the screen. They remind me of Ghost of Rag. They probably remind you of Ghost of Rag as well. Uh, but they're like lion, bear, ogre things. And this, the Hunter's just getting like, uh, just charged by a whole herd of them. So I don't know what this means. Are these actually large monsters at all? Are they just big, small monsters? I don't know what's going on, but it's pretty cool and I'm here for it. We get our first glimpse at just how many freaking monsters are gonna be on screen at once. Like quick eyeball here, there's like, I don't know, 20, 30 different monsters on screen as we speak. It's a massive herd of these pangolin things. Dude, I am so ready for this game. I, I, I've seen a minute and a half of it, and, ugh, keep going. So, there's interaction between all the monsters here, those things, hold on, I'll, I'll pause it. Uh, they're just picking up and throwing them. We've got more monster interaction, we of course had that in Weld, we had like Anjanath and Devil Joe would pick up and throw around the little fanged wyverns. Uh, very cool stuff straight out the gate. They seem to completely ignore the hunter here. And then... Then this storm comes through. Did you see that? Did you see that? The lightning strikes the pangolin. 
what, what does this mean? It doesn't seem affected. It doesn't seem like it took damage from the lightning. Lightning. It seems like it's charged. It's a lightning rod kind of thing. Like a natural defense for the hunter to not get struck by lightning. So when these storms roll through, are we supposed to hide in these, in these herds of monsters? I don't know. I don't know, man. Also, the lizard is now running on four legs. But again, we'll get a better shot of the lizard and I'll talk about the lizard in a second. This shot, though... As everybody has probably pointed out, there's a heavy bowgun on the saddlebag of the mount, right? So the hunter's got what I think it looks a little bit too small to be a great sword on its back. Hunter's got a, a sword on his back. I don't know if it's a new weapon. I, I shoot. It's probably just a great sword. Let's be honest. It's probably just a great sword. Um, but he's also got a bowgun sitting in the saddlebag. So like, are we? Are we? Are we? Are we setting out? from camp and picking multiple weapons that we can swap between via the mount. Um, maybe. I'm thinking so. There's also the decorations that are hanging off the, the mount here. You've got, like, these beads. I don't know if it's just... If it is just decoration, if it's, like, a charm that you're putting on your mount to make it do something. Huh? That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, keep going. Lightning striking. Parkour lizard. Bang. There. All right. Now we can actually talk about the lizard properly. I thought it was a bird wyvern at first. When you first see it, it comes running in. It almost looks like a great macaw. That's what I kind of thought it was, like a HT great macaw. Uh, and then it sort of runs on all fours like a dog. Uh, it's got sort of developed forelimbs. It's, it's got the feathers. Uh, yeah, this thing is awesome. This thing is like if the lizard you had in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet was good and cool. That's what this thing is like. Um, I don't know what classification this monster it's going to be. I don't know if it's a new thing. That would be cool if we've got a new type of wyvern. Um, but I really like the design of this thing. If we get to customize it, if they're like the... Um, what are they called in Frontier? The Hulks? Is that what they're called? Hawks? Hulks? Whatever, whatever those things are called. This thing... I'm, I'm vibing with. It can fly, it can glide. It's got super traversal going on, like canine on steroids. Uh, yeah, this thing's awesome. I don't know what it's going to be called. Um, I saw someone on Twitter sort of trying to figure out what it was called, and I thought, yeah, like it should be something Opteryx, like a, like a, like a Archaeopteryx, right? Am I getting too nerdy right now? Probably. Okay, I'm going to play the video. It lands, and then we get this sweeping across, right? And we'll, we'll see the logo in a second. The the Something rolls through, and I thought at first, when I first saw it, I thought it was like magic or something. The, the land was resetting or something. And that would have been weird, because we don't usually see magic in Monster Hunter. Uh, but I think it's either just a reset of the map to make the logo pop against the like yellow grass, which is might be possible it's probably just like a cinematic thing or after these huge weather events blow sand everywhere the 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 wind or whatever or the weather resets the map so that you can have this variety in these in these maps um and speaking about the map there's obviously much contention whether or not this is going to be open world and obviously we don't know uh the name of the game wilds suggests open world in my in my mind uh, but then again, so does so does the name Monster Hunter World, and that wasn't open world. So we don't know yet. I think it's too early to say. I have made a video in the past about whether or not the next Monster Hunter game will be open world, and I'm excited to see something like that. Um, I think that Monster Hunter has made a very strong case to have uh, sort of tighter maps, one map for each sort of biome that are tighter and better uh, designed. So I'm a little bit on the fence on what I want, but I do want to see Monster Hunter get bigger and more involved. I want to see more of that ecology, more of just that diverse world design. And we'll now let the logo roll. Capcom presents Monster Hunter Wilds. Our logo comes through. Bang. Look at that. And our lizard walks on the screen. Monster Hunter Wilds, there we go. The next entry in the Monster Hunter series, our Generation 6 debut. Um, 
And if you don't think it's Monster Hunter 6, you can we can debate all day long on the, the logo literally has a six in it. There's six Wyvern heads. That's how the logos work. Each mainline series has an additional head. I don't know how that's going to work when we get to like Monster Hunter 13. But for now, uh, yeah, this is this is our Monster Hunter 6. And we get one little, one little teasy taste at the end. There he is, the Rathalos. Now, I don't know if I'm crazy or not, but that roar to me, that roar sounds like old Rathalos. Uh, I could be super wrong on this, but it does not sound like world Rathalos. I might be reading into it. I might be crazy. Uh, but that sounds like old Rathalos. It sounds like his old roar from like generation, like one, two, three, early on. Um, what that means, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I. I. I don't know if that has any bearing. He seems more red than he was in Monster Hunter World. In fact, the the colors in general seem much more vibrant. Like, if you look at what we've got here, we've got the hunter. He's got what I assume to be the starter gear um, for the new game. We've got this saddlebag that's this bright red and orange. We've got the lizard, which is this sort of muted green, but these bright purple feathers. The colors in general. Are, are really getting me excited because whilst I love World, okay, it was sort of washed out a bit. The colors of the monsters weren't super exciting because they were going for that realism. They were going for something that really uh, felt like a real living world. And I think you can do that with vibrant colors. So I think they're taking that. I think they're rolling with it. You can see just in this uh, shot here where we can see a bunch of the map. I don't know what this mountain is in the middle. Uh, is it, is it ruins? Is it a natural formation? I don't know. I, it doesn't look like ruins. It doesn't look man-made, but it also doesn't look like the shape of it looks like it's man-made, but the material doesn't. I don't know. I'm interested to see what, where we go. We've got these natural lightning rods, which makes me think that those storms are rolling through pretty regularly. Um, and then of course, the only bad thing about the trailer... 2025. The beauty of Monster Hunter World was that it was announced, uh, I think, six months before it was released, so the wait time wasn't so bad. 2025. Now, look, I'm not going to complain, man. We've been given less than a minute and a half of in engine footage. I don't know if it's necessarily gameplay, but in engine footage and let them cook. Let them cook, I say. I'm really excited. Um, of course, uh, all of you are probably really excited as well. Let's just... Oh, man. I, I, I can't wait. I need more. I think they said March. March is when we get more news about it. Um, and I'll be there, front and center. Look, this is hey, this is lit a fire under me. I want. I need more Monster Hunter. I was having, having a bit of a Monster Hunter drought for the second half of this year. I had a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. But I'm, I'm back, baby. We're back. So, uh, stay tuned. Lots of Monster Hunter Wild stuff coming in the future. Lots of, lots of just Monster Hunter stuff in general. Uh, join me for the ride, and I hope you enjoy. I think that's it. There you go. PS5, Steam, Xbox Series X. It is absolutely next-gen. And there you have it, Monster Hunter Wilds, the trailer, my thoughts, quick analysis, probably pause too much and ramble too much, but that's what you get when you have an off-the-cuff video. Uh, it feels great to be back making a video. Uh, I'm really excited about what we get in uh, for the future of Monster Hunter Wilds and just everything. It's going to be fantastic. We have less than a minute and a half of actual game footage here. And already I'm I'm freaking blown away, dude. It's 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 it's. Oh, I'm just so excited. I've got this... Oh, this feeling this is going to be a truly fantastic game. You see like more than half a dozen new monsters just in this alone. Um, and that's not even getting into these these big threats that we're going to see. These wyverns, these... Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. What are we going to see, man? New monster types? Uh, more snake wyverns? More Piscean wyverns that are actually interesting? If it is open world, is it going to be swimming? I don't know. I don't know, man. i got too many thoughts going on up here. Um, but I will end the video there. Thank you for watching, everybody. I am back. I am making more videos. Please, please subscribe and like and do all that good shit. And I'll see you on the next one, which hopefully is not 
another six months off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold myself to that one. Um, anyway, that's it. Bye.